Hi, I feel like it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos, so welcome. If you don't know me, I'm Megan and I do filmmaking and cinematic vlogs. One of the most frequent questions I get as a YouTuber or someone who puts out her work out there into the world is how I film myself. So I know how tough and embarrassing it can be to film yourself. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a few tips and tricks on how to film yourself and how to overcome this embarrassment. I'll also be showing you guys where I get my equipment and how I get cheaper equipment than normal. So yeah, stay tuned if you guys want to know and let's go! So the few things that you guys are going to need to film yourself is your camera or your phone, it doesn't matter. And I always carry a tripod, whether small or big, with me wherever I go. I got this tripod off MPB. It's the largest platform for you guys to sell, buy and trade your equipment to upgrade them. And you basically get your equipment at a much cheaper price that you would normally get your equipment at if you were to buy them new. It has all the equipment you guys need, whether you guys are just starting out or you guys are professionals or intermediate in filmmaking or photography, it has everything you guys need from A to Z. At the MPB platform, there are even pages for you to search out tips and tricks on photography, videography, filmmaking, and there are even pages where you can search out the tips and tricks for you guys to use your kits and your equipment that you got off of the MPB platform. Some shots can be achieved with your phone, which is what I'll be showing you guys very very soon. But if you guys ever get serious with filmmaking or photography, you guys should invest in some great beginner cameras which are very very affordable, especially if you were to buy it on MPB's platform. And the thing I love about MPB is that all the equipment are thoroughly checked by product specialists and you get a 6 month warranty in case something were to break or happen to the gear. So because we are filming alone and we're gonna be mostly on the tripod and it's gonna be static, we've got to get creative. So here are a few websites that I always get my inspirations from. So you could do like a top shot, close up, front perspective, or whatever your heart desires to be honest. But today I really want to talk about static shots and how to make them a little bit more interesting because that's gonna be 90% of our shots that we are always gonna be doing when shooting alone. So I'm not sure if you guys have noticed by now, but I do use a lot of zoom ins and zoom outs in my videos when I film myself especially, just to bring in a little bit of motion and a little bit more effect into my videos. And this can be simply achieved with the dynamic zoom on DaVinci, by the way, DaVinci is free. But if you don't have a laptop or a computer, I prepared some clips for you guys which I took on my phone and also edited on my phone so that you guys can actually see the difference. So all you have to do is import your footage, select your clip and add a keyframe at the very beginning and then go to the very last frame of your clip and add a keyframe there as well and enlarge your clip. And voila! And even if you do have static shots, you can always go for different types of shots like a wide shot close up, a mid shot, and also sometimes I love doing POVs, so like this one for example. But the embarrassment. <laughs> the embarrassment comes in like waves and when it comes in it hits you hard. Especially when you're gonna be filming yourself most of the time alone in front of loads of people in public. Well that was kinda that was kinda embarrassing. Like there was this um there's this family 
that was like right behind me and they were walking past and they kept on looking at me but um who cares i'm all right i know how it is so i'm gonna tell you guys my personal experience and how i normally overcome it and i hope that it'll definitely help you guys For me, my thinking is normally like, I would rather get this really good shot that I want than regret it later on just because I felt embarrassed about it. And I don't know if this could help you guys, but I hope it can in the way that you guys maybe would start to think this way as well. Because, you know, if you want that shot and you think it's gonna be a good shot, then go for it, you know? It's not worth like regretting it and then like not having a good shot later on just because you were embarrassed by it. So that's how I like to think. It definitely takes a little bit of practice, but I'm sure you guys will get a hang of it after a while. By the way, the behind the scenes you guys saw was actually from this shot and up till to this day, this shot is one of my favorite ever shots that I've ever gotten. So <laughs> there's your proof. So the last thing I like to tell myself is that after these people give me funny looks, look at me, after they leave this moment, they're not gonna think back about it. You know, they're just gonna forget about it. So I like to tell myself at the end of the day, nobody cares. Also guys, please, please, please do check FPB out. You can literally trade in your equipment to get other equipment that you guys need. And there are so many choices. There are even accessories for your camera. So please check them out. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.